got a stank ass walk and a reckless ass mouth. And my shit so tight when we fuck my pussy talk. I don't even say what's up. I just tell him what I want. Cause I got another nigga that's gonna do it if he don't. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like, follow, share, let everybody know. Get on this journey with me. We, um, we're on a road to recovery at this point. I had a tummy tuck not too long ago and we're working our way back into the gym. I am three weeks as of Wednesday. And the doctors and them said, I shouldn't be working out or doing anything like strenuous until maybe four to eight, I mean, eight weeks. If y'all know me, then y'all know that eight weeks, I already been out the gym since fucking December the 1st, trying to be like proactive and not catch COVID, but look what I'm doing. I'm walking, I'm walking. Shit. Walking can't count as strenuous. I said, like, I'm not even going to try to jog because I normally run. I normally run, like, between three to six miles out here. It just depends on the day. But today I said I'm going to try to casually stroll the track until I'm tired. Well, actually, I said I'm going to do 30 minutes. And then I'm going to report back to you guys and see how I feel after 30 minutes. I don't have to report back. We can just talk about it now. Because I definitely just have to stroll. I'm in a park close to the airport. So sorry for the tr uh, loud ass planes and stuff going over my head. I can't report that I feel out of breath trying to talk and walk at the same time. That's new, you know. But it's a recovery. I knew what I was getting myself into. I read all up on it and everything and knew I was gonna be down for a minute, but golly, I didn't think it was gonna be this fucking boring. Like I have never been so ready to go back to work in my life. Like, and I'm sure as soon as I get there, I'm gonna be over it. Like, I'm sure, but today we walk. I'm gonna start trying to walk 30 minutes a day, starting this week. And then depending on how I feel afterwards, I'm gonna take it up to an hour. Cause once I go back to work, I work in the airport. Once I go back to work, like I'm gonna be walking all day. I'm supposed to go back. Well, I'm cleared to go back March the 8th, but I'm probably gonna tell them to put me on the schedule that following week, then I'll be a full six weeks recovered. I like my new color too. That's the only reason why I really wanted to make a video because I'm enjoying exploring colors. At work, I only can wear blonde. So I'm always blind, but check it out. Check out this purple. It's the purple. It's definitely the purple for me. I've been hot pink, but not hot pink. I think I was some type of fuchsia. And then I did lavender. I didn't really care for lavender because it looked like I just had a whole bunch of gray ass hair. So that was ugly. But see the purple goes? I love the purple. Uh, loud ass plane. I'm just gonna try to talk over the plane. I can imagine how it sounds. But yes, it's a pretty day outside. It's been a couple of pretty days. And it just feels too good to just be sitting in the house looking at the fucking sun and the pretty, like, every, the, the pretty scenery and can't do nothing. So I said, fuck that. It's three weeks. They said don't lift no weights. I'm not going to lift any weights. I'm not going to run. I'm just going to casually stroll for 30 minutes. So, that's what we're doing today. We're going to walk for 30 minutes. Because just sitting in the house, I'm not really gaining weight because I'm not really eating like that. Like, I had already told myself, like, if I can't work out, then we definitely not going to be eating reckless. 
and not being able to drink, like, it's not making me want to consume all my fried shit that I need to soak up the liquor. <sighs> not being able to smoke. I don't have the monkey, so I'm not eating a whole bunch of snacks and shit, so. My weight maintaining. I was 157, I think, the day of surgery. And I'm down to 154, I think. I think it said 154 this morning. I don't know, I got checked. Like a lot of people always say, don't weigh yourself every day. Da -da -da -da. That's how I keep myself in check. Like, if I weigh myself in the morning and me and the scout not getting along, you're like, yeah, you better not have them like waffles for breakfast. Have a smoothie. But if you weigh yourself, every three uh months or you just don't even weigh yourself that's how your weight get all out of control don't go by that that's just what i go by that's why i have to literally weigh myself every day to be like okay okay you got a little space you can have it if you want it as long as you go like make it if you're gonna cheat just cheat once don't cheat for the whole fucking day make a decision i don't feel bad for eating something if i really want it when you just deprive yourself and don't eat anything that's how your diet get all messed up and out of whack. Like, if you want it, have it. Okay? Kill the craving and get back to it. Do an extra 30 minutes of walking. Do a couple of extra jumping jacks. But don't just deprive yourself. Like, that's what makes these diets and stuff so miserable. And it's really like a whole lifestyle change. It's not just doing it like how a lot of people do. Oh, I got this trip coming up. Let me hurry up and lose weight real quick. No. No. That's why your weight don't stay off. Because you're just doing it for your trip. And you work so hard. And you get down to what you want to see for your trip. And then you go back and fuck it all up. But. Yeah, that's all. I got off track. But. This is my journey. My story. I hope y'all like it. If y'all got some questions or some other things you want to know, please leave it down in the comments and I'll share. Like, I'm trying to be totally transparent on my journey. Like, I literally been working out for eight years. For everybody that don't know, I've been working out for eight years. I've been talking about this surgery probably for 10 years because I've always hated my stomach. I hate my breast too. I'm going back for that. Please believe. These tatas are going to be sitting up real cute. But yeah, like I didn't cheat. Like I worked out really hard for eight years and got down to, to where I was comfortable at. And then I started seeing that pouch. And I'm like, I can always get abs up top, but I can't get this shit on the bottom. Like that shit is so annoying. So then I found out, oh, I have muscle separation. And like no matter how many crunches, push up, I mean crunches, sit ups, ab exercises you do you cannot heal muscle separation that come from my post pregnancies so he sold these muscles right on up so when i am able to get back in the gym and do some ab work let me tell you these abs gonna be popping okay i can't wait to get on somebody damn beach you hear me i'm gonna be showing all of this shit off if y'all know, y'all already know I'd be damn naked. I was already confident in myself. So the surgery was for myself. Because that little oatmeal pie that I had. I wasn't stopping shit. Not a bitch ass thing. So. Yeah. That's all I got to report today. I'll let y'all know how I feel. But I feel like I'm gonna be okay. Like. I'm not running. I'm not doing anything just gonna do four laps around probably two two is a mile so yeah that's how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna just do a mile today and see how i feel later on and yeah so i'm great i'm gonna come and do a mile tomorrow oh sending you love and positive vibes no waste kate out